recently the Zijin Malaysia chapter organized a series of teachers training seminars in which educators from across the country share their ideas with colleagues. In addition, participants also gain a better understanding of how to incorporate the aphorisms into their teaching materials. Here's more. Here at the Zhiji Malaysia chapter, volunteers have organized a teacher training seminar where educators can exchange ideas on teaching. During this training seminar, I have learned a lot of new skills that I can share with my co-workers and students back at my school. I look forward to creating a joyous learning environment. The role a teacher plays is not only the instructor of textbook knowledge, but also a mentor accompanying students on their path in life. As teachers, we need to first clear our minds and figure out what messages we want to give our students in order to help them grow up right. Right now, academic performance is the sole indicator from which students' achievements are judged by the public. However, I think what's more important is character education. That is something we educators should give priority to. Nonetheless, it is not an easy task for teachers who have good communication with their students, so they learn to reflect on themselves first. As I see my child, it's like seeing myself in a mirror, because I see all my flaws reflected in him, so I have to change myself first. Through reading their students' journals, teachers can better understand what students want and care for them in an appropriate manner. If I had learned this method earlier, I would have had them write their journals on a regular basis. Students are always welcome to share their feelings with me. However, exchanging letters is a better way of communication. Volunteers also introduce the participants to Jin's aphorisms, which can be adopted into teaching materials as a way to spread the seeds of love in schools and society. <laughs> At the flower arrangement class, participants also learn to cultivate their body and soul. I feel excited and curious about this class because this is my first time taking part in a flower arrangement class. This activity requires an attentive heart. However, I am a reckless person, so I need such a class to cultivate my heart. As these educators immerse themselves in the event, Tsuji's humanitarian education has slowly inspired them to follow suit. The things the aphorism she taught us are much related to our lives. Our students will feel the same way too. Since they are young, they can easily remember the teachings behind these words of wisdom. If we create some fun activities, they will definitely love to learn from them. Students may have a difficulty in grasping the meaning of Jinsu aphorisms. However, it is still necessary to teach them, as the words of wisdom may bring about subtle yet positive influences. Over the course of the day, the volunteers teaching on Jin's aphorisms leaves these teachers with a new perspective on education.